Hi everyone, I'd like to share my reflections on Paramook 2016. My name is Carol Polio. I really enjoyed attending the classes and meeting everyone. I really appreciate Nancy and Carlos for this opportunity because I have never seen the breadth and depth of research that's going on in this field before and it was really exciting for me to see the work that's been done. So I just wanted to say welcome and to my reflection. Thank you. Some of my key learning points that I'm going to discuss in a little bit more detail are the following items. And I won't read them to you, but summarize them because I think they were really aha moments for me. The first is about the foundational research that there must be um, a valid experimental design for this kind of work. It's essential. That was a key learning point for me. Also, the um, section, the lecture on meditation, I found really interesting. Um, it's something I've been working on myself, and I definitely have seen the benefits for my abilities improving. Another um, talk that I really enjoyed was about um, physicists and physics and the grand unified theory. I found that really interesting, a really interesting topic. Of course, apparitions, being that I do paranormal investigation, was really interesting to me as well. Um, and so I'll talk a little bit about what I found interesting in the data from those studies. I really also enjoyed the near-death experiences uh, lectures. Um, I thought they were great. Um, I really think this is something that we will see a lot more work continue on. So that was really interesting for me. And I think the biggest thing um, I take away from this course is that there's been so much done. Again, I'd never been exposed to it before, so it was fascinating, but there's so much more to do. And I hope that this um, field continues to grow and continues to expand how we think about our world. So I wanted to start with um, Dr. Dick Pierman's work because I think it's foundational to parapsychology and that is experimental design for this type of work. I thought it was really interesting because I am a scientist um, that most studies have a small n and I think that has been my challenge with studies that have been done in psychology for many years now is the small n. And I think that's really important. I'm sure it's difficult sometimes given um, the topics that we study, but I think it's really a key point. And I think the changes and how he talked about the changes in research practices, like the QRP's crisis going on and determining the end prior to initiating research. Those kinds of things will really help. Um, I thought it was also interesting the replicability rate was so low compared to what was claimed. Obviously that really hurts us. And his question about whether parapsychology studies are similar to psychology studies since they, one grows, field grows out of the other. I think that was really some food for thought. So I really you know, the geeky scientist in me really enjoyed hearing this um, discussion because I think it really made some great points and she kind of shows us where our gaps are in the field. Dr. Serena Roney Dougal's talk was really interesting to me as well on meditation and psi. Some of the really important things that I gained from that is because I'm starting meditation myself and it has really helped me, um, was how much better meditators performed with a psi ability test than non-meditators. Very important. Um, 
you know, kind of a gap in the research in the 1990s. I just thought that was interesting. It kind of makes me wonder what um, was going on at that time and why that wasn't done. Um, as meditators progressed, meaning over years, like 15 years worth of time, their sciability increased. And the fact that it was consistent um, ability, not spontaneous, which is what I'm used to and what occurs to me is the spontaneous ability. So I thought that was really interesting. And of course, being a skill that with practice, time, and effort, um, sci can be improved. So I really thought um, that was a great talk, and I really enjoyed how um, she pulled apart all of the different aspects. So it was very clear how um, it worked and how important it was to improve in sci. Another presentation I really enjoyed but also found challenging was Dr. Bernard Carr's talk on hyperspatial model. Um, I'm not a physicist, nor would I ever pretend to be one. I'm more of a psychic um, and scientist. But it was really interesting to me how this field has entirely ignored or neglected consciousness. That was fascinating. And his theories a bit above my head, but still really made me think about the human mind and a new theory that would fold in um, Psi, the Grand Unified Theory, into all the other theories that he talked about. Um, I just really found it fascinating. I wish my brain could process all of the great information that he was presenting. Nonetheless, that has never deterred me in the past. That's why I am a scientist, because I really am fascinated with those kinds of things. So I really enjoyed his talk as well. I think no um, summary of reflection and what I learned would be complete without apparitions. And certainly um, Nancy filling in for um, Dr. Haraldson. I really appreciated this talk. It's the kind of information that really helps in the work that I'm doing now with um, Marilyn Paranormal um, and some of the other work that I'm trying to do with my own um, business, if you will. Apparitions appearing more than half the time, but roughly equal in daylight. Really important um, that people are busy and doing things when these things happen. Half of them were relatives. More often than not, they were male almost 70% of the time. And the discussion and all the questions about violent death, Improving the chances of seeing an apparition is all really great information. And, you know, I'm really going to delve some more into this and look at some more of the research that Nancy mentioned. So I really don't think the course would have been complete without something about this. And really, really interesting. And I really appreciated um, hearing about that information. Um, kind of opened my eyes to some things I hadn't really uh, thought about before. So that was great. Another great uh, talk, actually, there were two I really enjoyed by Dr. Janice Minor Holden on near death experiences. Just kind of uh, interesting information. I've certainly witnessed some of this with people I know passing on um, and also hearing from them after they've passed on. One in five experience NDEs. Fascinating about pleasurable versus unpleasant um, being roughly equal, being not related to their life events and beliefs. Um, I had never heard about the electromagnetic difficulties after an NDE. That was also very interesting. 
and of course delving a little bit into the purpose of life was really interesting you know what they came back with and how their lives and purpose changed particularly the purpose of life to love and learn so really interesting um i've actually gone back and listened to these a couple of times cuz it's just fascinating information Oh boy, where do I begin with my summary? Obviously, so much great information was presented and it pointed out to me very clearly how much more there is for me to learn. I will refer to these. I have downloaded some of these talks to keep just to go back to and review. I'm just astounded by the amount of literature awaiting my eyes to read it so that was really um, the biggest thing I think about this course and I really appreciate it being available so I could learn about it the depth and breadth of research presented wow that was an outstanding um, the opportunity to um, hear from researchers and have questions asked and answered is really an incredible opportunity I could not have had in any other way except in a platform like this so wow that was also great and for me being a scientist data 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 I love science I love hearing about the studies the methods the results um, but especially again from the researchers and, and some of the things that they encountered and their anecdotal information was just wonderful. There are gaps in the research that was very clear and we need to go on from here and continue to feed um, good scientific studies into this field um, and make more progress. There were so many opportunities pointed out where more work needs to be done. I really love this course. I wish I could have been online more with the group and answered questions, asked questions, but I really, really appreciated this course and I've learned so much. So a thank you to Nancy and Carlos again um, and thanks everyone in the class for asking great questions so I could hear it even in playback. Um, I, I can't wait to do this again. It was awesome. Thank you so much.